What is going on everyone, Fedor Reaper Day bring you a video. In today's video, we're talking about the uh, controller settings you can play on. This is applies to console or um, PC if you play controller on PC. I do play controller on PC, so that is why I was deciding to do this video. So for many of you, I'm sure, um, possibly struggle with building or anything else. Uh, I've noticed my building after setting, uh, putting these on this setting, uh, to definitely be better than it was and my overall gaming experience on it and uh, how I play being a lot better as well so a little pyramid ramp thing you can see here so here we'll do it again well if I can get the pyramid to go now used to I couldn't even do that at all and I'm over here able to do it so these settings definitely have improved my uh, building as well as uh, even in combat and stuff like that because I can obviously um, edit faster. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into settings and we'll talk about exactly what I have set and what you could set. Now these are my personal settings. Uh, I would definitely recommend tweaking them um, and just trying different things out. Maybe moving some stuff down or up. Uh, I definitely like keeping them here. I may tweak it in the future a little bit, but as of right now, I do like where these settings are at. So, right now, let's go ahead and get into this. So, all this is just uh, your graphic settings. I do like a lot of people play on theirs on uh, uh, some of this stuff on low. The only thing I keep actually off or low is um, my shadows and everything else I keep on high. V Sync, you're going to have off if you want to turn off, unless you want to be capped at 60 frames, which is okay if you want all that. Uh, that stuff doesn't really apply to uh, as far as controller stuff. That's just what my uh, graphic settings are. So here are the start of everything. So movement here we got. This is a pretty important toggle sprint. I would go ahead and turn that off and put sprint by default on. Trust me, it will help you a lot in the long run. Sprint cancels reloading. Turn that off. Auto open doors. I used to not have that on. I used to keep that off. I would recommend turning it on. You are playing controller that way um, if you actually do a do door edit you will go ahead and open the door and jump through um, combat we're gonna keep all that where you see it auto pickup weapons I would keep off I mean, unless I mean they're good for drops if you're trying to get a weapon fast off drop building this is important reset building choice put that off turbo building of course on and confirm edit release on that basically as soon as you release your edit is going to be confirmed so and these are just some extra game options and replays uh, that can be to whatever you're wanting now here is the uh, a main thing too as well on sensitivity and stuff so when we get here to build mode sensitivity for multiplayer I would put that on 2.0 and I did pass something up I forgot so you're obviously you won't build pro uh, builder pro on controller auto run vibration a lot of people have off I like turning on but it is better to have it off because it can sometimes mess with your uh, you know, it, you, obviously, if you're getting shot at or something, you feel the vibration, it can mess up uh, your possibility, your reaction time, or how, how you may react to the situation if you are playing on controller. So, I, I would recommend you turn that off. I do keep it on sometimes, but that's just my personal opinion. So, edit hold time. This is important. A lot of people play this on 0 0.100. I actually go to 0 0.125. Again, you can tweak that as you want. Mine used to be a lot higher up there. That's why I couldn't edit is fast um, again you can tweak this how you want it I keep mine at 125 and over here on build mode sensitivity we put 2.0 and then on edit mode sensitivity we put 1.9 and then you would put used advanced options on and then look sensitivity so this is important so I would keep that around 55 percent and put this to 50 that's zero zero and then zero seconds and then I would turn that off now your uh, advanced aim down side sensitivity I would recommend putting both of those on 10%. You get down here, we will put the dampening time on 0. Uh, linear, you want that on. Aim assist strength, obviously 100% if you're playing controller. Uh, de dead zones for your sticks, so I would definitely, definitely recommend putting those somewhere around 15%. Again, you can tweak that to your liking. I do like 15%. I think it's a good place to stay. Your foot controller dead zone, we put 2%. And foot controller max throttle, I would put 1%. So, go ahead and save those. Now, um... Again, so uh, now a difference here is um, if you go over here, you can also set your different controller binds for your different buttons. Now, a big thing to note here, I do not actually play Scuff. I play on a regular $60 Xbox controller. 
Uh, it is wire. I do keep it wired. I don't uh, play wireless, but I do. Um, some people do have scuff, and if you do have scuff, I would definitely recommend messing around with these settings. Uh, but again, I don't play scuff. I actually play just regular controller, so uh, you'll have to pay attention to that. But um, I've noticed that these settings definitely help me with my overall building speed. Um, Obviously, I'm not a pro at doing the whole pyramid thing. Uh, I've never actually even been able to do it before. So, the fact that I can do it at all is pretty impressive to me anyways. But I have noticed that my uh, building and my, my overall gaming on Fortnite has definitely changed. And I've been a lot uh, better, faster in games. Um, so, um, these settings, again, I would tweet to your liking. I wouldn't just keep them exactly the same. Unless they work for you, if they work in that case, then I would, uh, use them like that. But, uh, I would, again, recommend tweaking them. Because, like, see, the edit hold time sometimes is too fast and not normal for me. Obviously, it's going to take some getting used to, because I used to play with my sensitive, uh, my edit hold time a lot higher, so I would have to hold that down... And it wouldn't obviously just auto, uh, I didn't have auto release on, so when uh, I released it, it wouldn't just automatically do that, so. But my edits and everything have been uh, definitely faster since I've moved to these settings. I would definitely recommend uh, doing them. Again, it's going to take some getting used to, especially if you had different settings you were playing on and stuff like that. Uh, but they have again helped me overall, so I would definitely recommend them if you're looking for some good settings. Remember to also tweak those and everything like that. So, um, that's pretty much the whole um, video we were talking about here. Again, you can pause the screen and uh, put those settings to where uh, you like and what works for you. Um, those are a good common ground, I feel. Uh, and then uh, for maybe you to go to first and then kind of tweak them from there. Uh, but uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my thoughts on your controller settings, what you should be putting them on. Uh, it does definitely help me on my overall building and gameplay. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hit that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys next time in the next video.